So let's go ahead and wrap this one up here. What do y'all think about this profile here? We got the texture all up here, Ricasso area and up top on both sides. Really like this profile. It is super comfortable in the hand. It just fits great. <laughs> that is one menacing looking knife. And it just pairs really well with that guy right there. I think this is going to be an awesome pair for, you know, the smaller knife and the bigger two-handed version. <sighs> These are going to look so cool once they have bevels on them. Now, I went ahead and did the holes in the tang for the pins. Got our sharp sharpening tool set up right there. Plus, on the larger one, sharpening shoil set up right there. I did something a little bit different on this. I did six pins in the handle, primarily just because it's gonna have a very large handle scales on it and I just wanted to make sure that it had plenty of pins and everything to keep everything where I needed it to be. Could I have easily just done like four pins in here? Yeah, but with the way that I'm gonna do the handle on this, I think that it just makes sense to have the six on here. Now, when it comes to the handle scales, I'm going to go with a material that y'all probably wouldn't really think I should go with. I know a lot of people are going to think, you got to do black handle scales with that because of the whole scythe look to it. But I've got an idea with the handle scale and pin material that I'm going to go with. And I think that y'all are going to like the end result. Y'all might not. Y'all might. We'll see how it goes. But... I'm really excited about how these are turning out. I mean, that is just an awesome set right there. Really like this. Now, some of y'all might be thinking, Eric, why didn't you all, or you know, why didn't you go ahead and forge this to, you know, profile to shape? Well, other than the fact that it was like 120 degrees in my shop, I just decided forge the texture. This is like a bonus knife in this series. Forge the texture, do some stock removal on it get the profile how I want it, call it done. That way we get all the way to this point in this episode and everything looks good and we're ready for bevels and heat treat. So in the next episode, we are gonna be doing bevels on these. I'll probably either be doing bevels on both, bevels on one, I don't know. We'll see how that goes and y'all will see that in the next episode, but I'm really excited about this pair. I mean, that is just, Super, super menacing. <laughs> just, I can't, can't stand it. I love it. I'm happy that y'all peer pressured me into doing this, you know, the knife version of it. Thank y'all for, for convincing me to go ahead and go that route because this is going to be awesome. Guys, I'm interested to know what y'all think about the profile of the smaller knife. If y'all think that this makes a good pair. I mean, also, I want to know... What handle scale material do y'all think that I should use on both these knives? Uh, I really want to hear what y'all think about that because y'all might sway me to go a different direction. You might not, but I really want to know what y'all think. But guys, that is the end of this one. That is the... Wow. Awesome profile. Guys, if y'all would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or one of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guys, y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.